Okay, this is political editor and editor-in-chief of the Register, Gordon Wayne Watts, from Lakeland, between Orlando and Tampa, Florida, reporting live. Uh, what is it? It's already July 2nd, 4.27 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and George Norrie and Tom, Tom Danheiser, the producer and call screener also, have um, let me call into open lines. They had a special open lines made up for the little botched incident, but actually this was kind of good because um, the other fellow, Ian Punnett, is a good guy, but I think that George Norrie's open lines are uh, far more popular. So without any further ado, um, I'm going to play the tape recorder into this, uh, this smartphone recorder, and then I'm going to try to upload it to the web and um, give a little bit of support to my peeps and homies there at Student Loan Justice um, who were the ones that put the petition on, or the ones, yeah, here, here we go. Why doesn't it fall in that bucket? I don't like that bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, let's go to Gordon in Lakeland, Florida. Welcome to the program. Hello there, Gordy. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Sure thing. I found out just a few days ago that um, our mutual friend Alan Collins has a petition on the White House website, petitions.whitehouse.com. He's, he's the student loan expert for us. Right. Now, here, here's the problem. Alan is very smart. He's a rocket scientist, okay? So, I mean, you can joke, but he really is a rocket scientist. But on his website, Student Loan Justice, the link for the petition goes back to his old change.org petition. Now, I'm going to pinch hit for him, and I hope that you will indulge me. On my website is a link to the current petition, and it's limited to 30 days, and we've only used about seven of the days, and we have to really strive hard. Now, this will return student uh, loan bankruptcy. I mean, if a rich man, I love Donald Trump, okay? I, I voted for the guy, but if he can get bankruptcy, and if the rich Democrat and the rich Republican can bankruptcy, which is the economic Second Amendment, why not the student? Well, I know, but I don't think they're ever going to do that, Gordon. Well they, they, well, they will if you let me do one thing. Can I give out my website? Of course. I always let you give out your website. Okay, good. GordonWatts.com or GordonWatts.com. Spell, spell it out for Gordon people. Gordon Watts in Lakeland. Now, on the top of my website... Gordon, 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 spell it out for people. Okay, G-O-R-D-O-N-W-A-T-T-S, GordonWatts.com. That's on GoDaddy. GordonWayneWatts.com is on HostGator. Gordon, like G-O-R-D-O-N, Wayne, like John Wayne and Watts. Or just go to Google and put in Gordon Watts in Lakeland or Gordon Wayne Watts in Lakeland. Now, on the top of my website, it says click to this link. On, it'll take you to the petitions.whitehouse.gov. And it's easy to sign this thing. What you do is you put in your name and your email address, and then you confirm by email. And the thing of it is, is uh, he's already listed. We got to 150 petition signatures within like the first day, and it's listed, but it's way down there. And so if you go to petitions.whitehouse.gov and you scroll down, it's way down there. Way down there. They buried yeah, it. But, so now, the, the, does everyone, the, I know you understand why this is important. Student loan debt is about 10% of national debt, and it's going to crash the dollar if we yep. don't do something. Oh, you're right. Now, tell me how you got interested in this topic. Okay, now what happened is I went to school, I got, I got almost straight A's, okay, um, but I lost my scholarship in junior college, and by the time that I got it back, uh, it was too, I got my grades back up, I couldn't get my scholarship back, and so I'm deep in debt, and these people, they're not dumb, but they're less intelligent than me, and they got these, these uh, scholarships, and I mean, a lot of people get scholarships, but the thing with this is, I'm so, I, I, got, I went to the least expensive college, the Florida State University, it's, it's respectable, but it's the least expensive college, and I'm, I start, I've, I've been paying on my $46,000 lo uh, loans, and it's like 56000 and I'm never going to pay my way no. out of it. How old are you now? Uh, I was born in 66, so I'm 52. I've had my uh, birthday. Okay? You're I'm, 52, I'm and you're still paying down your student loans? Well, I'm on income-based repayment, Okay. Which means 10% of zero, is my discretionary income is zero, but w when it gets forgiven, if it ever does, it'll be taxable. But here's the thing. When you were a kid... College was affordable. Now, I know there's inflation, but it was affordable. You could work a job. Now, it's either you go to college and you're in debt for 20 forever if you don't win the lottery, or you don't go out of college and, and you're lucky to be a, an entry-level job. Uh, no, no offense against McDonald's people. They're bright people, but it's a starting job. You're lucky to get a job at McDonald's if you don't have a college education. They're creating a new class of slaves, okay? And slavery is wrong in any form. Okay, now, I'm not asking for a free handout. I believe we should pay for college, but I don't believe we should pay for 20 lifetimes, okay? When, when you were young, George, college was affordable, yes or no? Well, you make it sound like I'm old, Gordy. So you're only a few years older than me. 
it was, but college was affordable. And I also, yeah. you know, I had the benefit, uh, my father helped me a lot. Right. Okay, well, my father... I didn't get a scholarship, you know. I, so, I was going to be a dentist. Well, I, I got grants. I got loans. My parents helped me. I helped myself. I paid. And, it, look, it used to... The, the, the Democrats made loans available on the tax dollar. And colleges, it was supposed to be a student aid, but the colleges said, aha, the student has deep pockets. So they jacked up tuition to match the increased borrowing ability. Then the Republicans, I'm a Republican, but I'm not defending my party. The Republicans took away bankruptcy, truth in lending, statute of limitations, and the student became defenseless. E bankruptcy is the economic Second Amendment, and I'm a supporter of the Second Amendment. Without economic Second Amendment, you remember, you remember the housing bubble, okay? It was bad, but those people could file bankruptcy. They could defend against I know it. lending. Well, here's the other thing, though. Why do we even have to have students file bankruptcy? Why, why can't they just modify their loans down to uh, nilch? Well, that would be in an ideal situation, and and it, that that would be an ideal situation. Um, but I mean, one step at a time. I mean, we have to be practical about this. When when students are able to file bankruptcy, then it'll be like credit cards. The loan availability will shrink, and the, the tax dollar will no longer be. Yeah, burned. but not everybody wants to file bankruptcy, Gordon. Not everybody wants their credit dinged. You know, they'd, they'd rather have reduced payments or have the uh, principal knocked down so, and, and you don't get taxed on it. You'd have to make sure you make those kind of provisions. Let me move on, but you got your websites out. Let's go to Joe, Long Island, New York. Welcome to the program, Joseph. Yeah, George, how you doing? Good, Happy Joe. Fourth of July. Okay. Yeah, it's, good. Okay. it's crazy how fast this year is going. Let me, in, let me turn the volume down here and interrupt. Way too fast. Okay. Well, well, let's let's hear what first, Joe has to say uh, just for a second. I, I, I was thinking a couple of things. Uh, the first segment tonight. Uh, one was you can check out how things work in the distance yourself. You don't need a Harvard study, for example. What you can do is take a, a place in the distance from where you live, pray about or meditate mm -hmm. on. The okay. Um, never mind. Okay. Now Joe in Long Island was talking about uh, the Big Bang and the universe and God. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a timestamp. Okay, I said that it's July 2nd, but is it July 2nd? I'm going to call the time and temperature. And uh, let's take a listen. Today is Monday, July 2nd. Publix time, 434. Current temperature, 75 degrees. Okay, now, before we go to the weather, they were going to give the weather, but July 2nd of what year? What? What year? Okay. Okay. Let's call um, NOAA Weather, National Oceanic and Atmospheric uh, Association. Now, listen real closely. Just listen real closely to the timestamp for the year. Thank you for calling your... Now for the official National Weather Service forecast, each at 3 a.m. Monday, July 2nd, 2018, for the KHB 32 listening area for the following count. Okay, now, now they were going to give the weather, but but never mind. That's not why I called. They said July 2nd, 2018. Okay, so I've time stamped. I've time stamped this, and um, sorry if I was a little. I should have probably time stamped it. But I wanted to hear Joe in Long Island. Actually, let's let's hear Joe in Long Island. Let's I've time stamped it, so let's just go and listen to see what he had to say. I know this is anticlimactic, but I just want to hear what he had to say. Weather asked for it to be twenty degrees different, so you, you, you know, enlist the aid of Harvard and stuff. And in some cases, this actually works. It does actually, and they can check this, and it'll actually change. Uh, and then the other thing... Okay, I think he was saying that if you pray, that it can actually change things. I, I believe that. Let's, let's see what else he has to say. ...would be uh, refining decision-making. Uh, hey, thank you for taking my call, George. What? Eric. Um, anyhow, there's a friend of mine who wanted me to connect him with another friend, and so I got the mutual locate, exchange names, phone numbers, and email addresses. So I sent them both huh? an email... With both of their names, both of their phone numbers, and both of their email addresses. What? Well, oh, hold on. Whoa, what's this going on here? It looks like I must have called in another time. 
I don't know what this is about, but just for fun, let's let's see what this was about. My one friend got real mad at me, and he said, why did you put my name and my real name and my real phone number in my... Okay, okay, that call was uh, about a tech tech expert, about email security. Okay, so it was unrelated to the uh, student loan issue. Okay, so in any event, um, as you can see, I call, and you can go to youtube.com slash Gordon Wayne Watts, okay? Um, or you can click my YouTube, and you can see I call in to Coast on a fairly regular basis. They're pretty good to me, and I try not to betray their trust. I'm human. Occasionally, I get stuck on one subject or whatever, but um, in any event, um, I try to mix it up. So, again, um, I was just documenting my call to uh, Coast to Coast this morning on the college loan issue. Now, listen, go to GordonWatts.com. Or Gordon Wayne Watts, W-A-T-T-S, Gordon Wayne Watts in Lakeland, Florida. Sign, click the link, sign the petition, and then uh, share it, and then ask your friends to sign it. Now, there's a 30-day time limit on the petition, okay? And if it gets to 100,000, then the White House issues a response. President Tr Donald Trump or one of his aides will issue a response. I mean, that's how it works, okay? Now, the White House doesn't make the law. Separation of powers, the president doesn't make the law. The Congress does, but the president has a bully pulpit, okay? He can speak to Congress and move things. You remember how President Obama moved the crowd with regards to health care? And the health care wasn't really effective. It wasn't popular. Okay, we have socialized health care in red state Polk County, a, a conservative red state Republican Polk County. We don't have the insurance companies involved, and so it's inexpensive. Well, President Obama's uh, Obamacare was very bad, no offense against Mr. Obama, okay, but I'm just going to be frank, it was bad, and yet he still got it passed. Why? Because he was the president, and he yapped and yapped and yapped about it, and he got it passed by getting all over Congress. Now, what we want to do here, folks, is get all over President Trump. Be polite, be respectful, but be persistent and firm, okay? Get the man on the horn. Yeah, I want the president on the line himself, and the vice president, just to make sure. Get them yapping about the college loan matter. Okay, college loan, the cure is bankruptcy for student loans on equal footing. Okay, uniformity clause. Okay, um, the, the bankruptcy code is not uniform. Okay, a, a, a credit card can get bankruptcy under e easy terms, and um, the current bankruptcy code violates the uniformity clause, as I say on my website. You can look for the details. And that's the cure. Prevention, of course, is to... Stop the use of tax dollars to make or guarantee college loans in the first place. Let them get loans with credit cards. And when the colleges see that the loans will are drying up because either A, the, the loans are not subsidized by the tax dollar, or B, the, the existing loans have bankruptcy, it'll scare the hell out of the people in the banks to even make loans because the, the loan monies won't be there or, or the student can defend them against uh, or both. And then guess what? The tuition will drop like a rock. Now, get off your lazy butt and sign that petition. And if you don't know where the petition is, go to Gordon Watts, G O R D O N W A T T S dot com or Gordon Wayne Watts dot com. One's on GoDaddy and one's on HostGator. My buddy Alan Collins put the petition together and he got the word out, and it's very, very quickly reached 150 and got listed. But for some reason, he didn't list it on his website. I'm talking to him about that, but I'm pinch hitting for him right now. And so. You can get to the thing through his Facebook group. Uh, he has a Facebook group which lists it. So I list it on my website. His Facebook group lists it, but his personal uh, website doesn't. So as Meatloaf said, two out of three ain't bad. So get your lazy butt in gear and sign the petition. Share it and then ask others to do the same. This is Gordon Wayne Watts reporting, the political editor and editor-in-chief of The Register, reporting live from Lakeland, Florida, between Orlando and Tampa. And you guys uh, appreciate you watching, listening, and viewing, and uh, reading. Thank you so much, and have a nice day. Now, sign that petition and make others do the same, or else it'll crash the dollar because the taxpayer dollar is on the hook. Thank you.